I found the most frightening thing I've ever seen on Facebook. Remember, when taking a drink of water at 3 a.m., to check your straw for earwigs. Michelle's standing right here. I saw that post too, okay? Please I was trying to God ignore it. Fake. No, it was totally true. An earwig I'm, in your straw. Yeah. Hold on. We have an earwig problem in our house too. You didn't take like a sip of water through the straw and have the earwig go into your mouth, yes. right? No, it totally in my mouth. Did you swallow it? No. Did you no, throw up? I'm, well, because it was. I usually put ice in my drink before I went to bed. Okay, so I <laughs> immediately I thought it was just a piece of ice. No. But no. luckily, it hit my tongue. I'm like, that's not ice. <laughs> all over. The, I just spit all over the bathroom, all over the bedroom. And my husband wakes up and he's like, "What was that? Did you just puke?" No. I'm like, "There was something in my mouth." No. Did you cry? Or I, throw I up? sat on the bed for like ten minutes, like. No. Half between crying and half between throwing up. Was it, it was dead? Just, no. It, oh, <laughs> God. no. This is so gross. I didn't. I made Rob kill it though, because I'm like, I can't go well, to bed if it's sitting there. It's got. You gotta kill it. I'm not coming to your house and drinking ever again. I have the vomit spits. <laughs> of, all, of all places, why? Like, in your straw? All, yes. It's not like there's food in there or anything. Well, if it's hanging out in your bedroom at 3 a.m., chances are you've probably eaten a couple before anyway. Uh, Okay, that's enough. We're done with this conversation.